Hi, I'm Dr. Judy Morgan. I'm a holistic veterinarian with over 38 years of experience, and I'm also a certified veterinary food therapist. I've designed a recipe for your dogs to support their heart health. Heart health is something that we don't think about often enough, but we need to support them with good nutrition that is going to give them the antioxidants and the power that they need for the heart to power the body. So for our recipe, if you've ever seen any of my videos, you know that I love to color the rainbow. So if we look at our ingredients that we have laid out, we have yellow and orange and green and red and white, and I even threw in a blue egg from our chickens. So for our recipe, I pre-measured everything. I use a kitchen scale and I weigh my ingredients so that they match what we have on the recipe. I'm going to use my little coffee bean grinder to grind my sunflower seeds. They're much more digestible if they're ground when they're put into the recipe. And then I'm going to use my small kitchen grinder to grind up my meats. We don't have any bone in this recipe because we're going to grind our eggshells and this small kitchen grinder will do that with no problem. When we finish mixing all of our ingredients together, this recipe could be fed raw. It could be baked in the oven at 325 for probably about a half an hour. We don't want to overcook it. We want the juices to still be flowing. If you don't feel comfortable uh, making something in the oven, you also could put all these ingredients into your slow cooker, put it on the low setting for six to eight hours, and then you'll have a beautiful cooked meal. When serving that cooked meal out of the slow cooker or the oven, make sure that you include all the juices. Some people think that when you cook food, you cook the nutrients out of it. That's not true. We wouldn't be here if all the nutrition was cooked out of our food because most of us eat cooked foods. But we do need to include those juices because a lot of the nutrients do come out of the meats and vegetables and they're in that beautiful juice that's in the pot. So be sure to use that as well. So I'm going to tell you the ingredients that we have before we turn on the grinder because then it gets a little loud and it overpowers me. So I'm going to start, this is my meat mix here. I have one pound or 16 ounces of fresh ground beef. This is about 90% lean. I have four ounces of beef liver and I have a pound of beef heart and I've trimmed most of the fat off of it. We're also going to add four ounces of salmon and we're adding the salmon for the omega-3s, so powerful for the heart. The heart does really, really well with a high omega-3 diet. We're going to add six ounces of butternut squash. That's going to give us some of the fiber that we need. It has vitamin K, it has some uh, uh, carotenoids in it, vitamin A, very important. We're going to use asparagus. And one of the reasons I like asparagus, particularly in my heart recipes, is that asparagus from a Chinese medicine perspective is draining. So it helps get the fluid running from the heart, filtering through the kidneys and detoxifying the body. We're also going to use four ounces of kale. The kale is a dark leafy green that supports the blood supply, makes richer blood. We're going to use four eggs. The yolks are filled with fat soluble vitamins, A, D, E, and K, and it's a good healthy fat. The whites are filled with B vitamins. We're also going to grind the shells from our eggs. That's going to give us our calcium content that we need. I have uh, cranberries. We're gonna use a half cup of chopped cranberries, so they'll go through the grinder as well. They are antioxidants, good for bladder health. We're again, helping support the kidneys to help support the heart. We're going to use four ounces of shiitake mushrooms. They're just sliced up. The mushrooms are good for lung health. So we're helping drain the lungs, get the fluid so that uh, if our heart is not functioning perfectly, we don't get fluid build up in the lungs. They also help uh, as immune system support. They're great prebiotic for the bowel. So it supports those probiotics, which are so important for the immune system. We're going to use um, Seaweed, uh, seaweed powder, half teaspoon, and that's for iodine and some of our trace minerals. I'm going to use virgin wheat germ oil, and that is going to be one tablespoon, and that is for our vitamin E content. And then we're going to use sunflower seeds that I'm going to grind in my grinder, and that's gonna be a tablespoon. In the recipe, I have 
mussels, fresh mussels, but they're hard to find. The only fresh mussels or frozen mussels I can find in the grocery store right now have all kinds of mustards and tomato sauces. So we can substitute and use a freeze dried mussel and put that in. So that'll, that'll serve the purpose for us. So there's our ingredients. We've got about, I don't know, 10 different things here. And we need to use a lot of different ingredients when we are balancing the diet from whole foods. If we wanted to add supplements to the diet, we could cut out some of these things, but I really like using whole foods. So I'm gonna turn my grinder on. We're gonna run all this stuff through, make a nice, beautiful mixture of everything. We'll add our supplements in and stir it up. Okay, so we ground up all of our ingredients. Clean up our kitchen here. All right, so we still have our greenlit mussels. And our recipe calls for an ounce of mussels since these are freeze dried. I did the calculations, we need about three of them. Pop those in. And. We need our tablespoon of sunflower seeds that we're going to do in the coffee grinder. And you thought they were just for making coffee. Perfect. Makes a really nice fine powder, which is really good. and a half teaspoon of kelp or seaweed. People ask me where I buy these supplements. I actually ordered them online for the seaweed powder and the um, wheat germ oil. It's the easiest way to find them. And the green lip mussels we have on our website. They're really nice treats for our pets, but they also work very well for cooking. I gotta do my mussels real quick. Smells like mussels. <laughs> okay. And now you can see this beautiful mix. And like I said, this could be fed raw. This could be baked like a big meatloaf. Or it could all be thrown into a slow cooker and cooked. I don't even think that this would take that long in the slow cooker. I probably would put it on the low setting and probably only do it for about four hours. So we just wanna get things mixed up pretty well to make sure that our vitamins and minerals are well distributed throughout the product because we're not going to eat this in one setting. Although I have a few visitors here who would beg to differ. So I love this when you're all done, you can see all the beautiful colors in it. We've colored our rainbow, which means we have a really good chance to get all the vitamins and nutrients that we want for our kids. All right, should we taste test? Come here, little buddy. Ooh. 
My guys eat raw food, so this is fine for them. What do you think? No complaints. No complaints. Oh boy. Okay, here's to good heart health for your pets.